Good afternoon, everyone. Today we celebrate this Holy Eucharist for the eternal race of Julian Bulldog and Lisa Mooney. And also we celebrate this Holy Eucharist for our nation, for the United States of America, this dependent state. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Saint Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Come to you, a just Savior is he, meek and riding on the 
on an ass on a colt. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished and he shall proclaim peace to all the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if we live according to the flesh, we will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The Word of the Lord. Thanks.
Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such a thing your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. No one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. I forget to mention my name at the beginning, sorry. My name is Father Hugo Khan. I'm the director of the Hispanic Latino Ministry in the Diocese of Worcester, and I'm the co-director of the House of the Studies, where the International Seminarians live in Worcester. Um, it's quite a revelation that I'm here preaching to you today to the 4th of July. Just so you know, I'm not a citizen of the United States. Please don't tell anyone. <laughs> but uh, it's great that we are celebrating this feast today because I've been here for 13 years and I have received so many blessings and so many good things in the nation that I'm really grateful to God to celebrate this with all of you. And one of the persons to blame for it is your pastor, my brother. He's been really great to all of us to the international seminaries and to all of us priests. Uh, precisely because the readings during this weekend just point, points out to a very special reality in our lives that we, by our baptism, by the splendor of the Spirit, we are called to be citizens of heaven. And that's what makes us real Christians and real life partakers of the kingdom of God in this world. That is why it's so special the first reading from the prophet Zechariah. He's talking, you say he's talking about joy, unity, peace and forgiveness, and all the good, beautiful stuff. But he was talking to people devastated by the exile, by the Babylonian exile. And they have nothing. They have to return to their home. They were excited back in Babylon, and they had to return home after 70 years, and they have nothing to do. And they are going to do the prophet inspired by the Holy Spirit, tells the people, we will rejoice, the are Zion, because you will see your king again. To the donkey. You will see your king again, bring the splendor of God into the world. What amazing news to all of us right now that we are also in a difficult situation in our nation, divisions or many situations that are going on right now. But the prophet is still telling us, rejoice in the power of God. Rejoice in the unity of God. Rejoice in the splendor of God, which is calling us to humility, to love, to forgiveness, to restoration, to become citizens of heaven. That is why today is so special also the Gospel of Matthew because he's telling us today if you want to be part of heaven, part of our good nation, start with the humility of your heart, of our hearts. It begins within us by the splendor of the Spirit. And when we receive the power of the Spirit, we are able to bring healing and forgiveness into our relationships, into our homes into our lives. And that's the experience of Christ. He said, no, I came to this world to present the love of the Father, the splendor of the truth of God, but that the, the truth of God comes with a, a divided heart, dedicated to the love of Christ, to the love of God. And when one heart is just fixed on the love of God, He's able to bring the salvation of God into the world. He's able to be meek and humble of heart, to bring the beauty of the Spirit 
into the whole creation. And he said, we are co-creators with God if we live with that experience of the Spirit of God. Now, that reality is here today with all of us. Because Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, is going to say to us, this is my body, this is my blood, that I give you, that I give you all for the salvation of the world, to establish the kingdom of God in this world. Now, it's up to you, it's up to us, to take that opportunity to humble ourselves and to bring unity and healing and restoration and forgiveness and compassion into the world, into our families, into our hearts, into our relationships. That's the invitation for our Lord Jesus, made by the strength of His Holy Eucharist, by the power of His Word, to make us real citizen of heaven, of His kingdom, of the splendor of His hope in this world. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Son, the Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there they will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. be yoked to Christ, to learn and to live his commandments, enlighten our burdens in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all priests to imitate Jesus, and they vow to follow and be meek and humble of heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the rich and the powerful, and the wise and the learned, made powerless by the pandemic and to acknowledge the power of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For essential workers and for all who labor and provide for the common good, and especially for those without jobs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For America to heal all that divides us and restore all that unites us be one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the season of summer to warm our souls and to be aware of the Creator in all creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, weary, and broken in spirit, for all victims of this virus, especially the sick, the grieving, the forgotten, and the abused. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we our prayer. For all who have died in this pandemic, and for all who have gone before us, for Janice Arsenal and Paul Perrin, who recently died, and for Junior Ola and Lisa Mooney, whom we remember at this Mass, that they find eternal rest with Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all service men and women and their loved ones, for the intentions in our parish book of prayer and on our prayer line, and for all those prayers deep within our hearts that are known to God alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Precious God, listen to our prayers, which we present for the intercession of our Lady of the Lady, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord. 
Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among those women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
eternals call to the sovereign of all the men. Lord, I am the Lord of the angels, strengthen and my Lord, that I may say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of the Lord of Christ to keep us safe from eternal life. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you.